Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Oh, the small land. The Radio Man 03, it's awesome to have you along. I just found something we've been looking for. I hunted that big red ant over here. Got him. I shot him with the arrow twice. And then I got his mandible. Uh, we should have in our inventory right here. Yeah, we got a bull ant mandible and I killed the grasshopper too. Real easy to do, uh, but we can make the grasshopper scythe. And we've got the bull ant mandible, which I think we could turn into that pickaxe at the workbench. So I'm still kind of out hunting about to see what else is over here to, uh, you know, see. We're a little bit beyond. Uh, there's another one of those ants right over there. Let's see if we can get this guy to uh, work his way over this way. There we go. Nice little 26 hit. There we go. He's almost dead by the time he gets here. And we got him before he gets to us, even. Nice. Ta-da! <laughs> so the bow has got some drop to it, so be aware of that. Let's take a look around up here. That was sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Gathering more materials. I'm thinking I'm going to do a little more building. I uh, haven't done much of that yet. Just kind of out and about exploring, you know, and grabbing up the goodness that the uh, small land world has to offer. This place is amazing. <laughs> this episode is being recorded right after the first two. So keep that in mind. Oop, ant, big ant, big ant, big ant. We'll get this guy too. Nope, we're going to miss. I missed again, and boink. Ah, oh, too far away. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Gotcha. Gotcha. Give me your guts, buddy. Oh, yeah. You can make a couple of them pickaxes now. Looks like the sun's getting ready to go down. I might have to head home. At least to where we're calling home right now. So you got to get those big guys for the mandibles. I don't think I found any chitin just yet. Still searching for that. A bunch of materials here, though. Maybe I should just set up a little shack right here. What's up this tree limb here? Do we have a source of... Oh, 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 what are you? What are you? Oh, 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 he's coming. He's coming after me. He's coming after me. He's big. Oh, he's still after me. He's still after me. Whew. Okay, that's a big old bug right there. Big old stink bug, huh? I wonder if I could get him. I wonder if I could get him. Our health is full. Our food is full. We're looking pretty good. How fast does he get back to his spot? Oh, man, he's moving, huh? Okay, he was up that way, right? So maybe we go down here in this little valley here? Maybe this ain't quite so bad? We're getting out and about today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, I missed. Sawyer beetle. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, God. Oh. That was close. Chitin. Oh, it's chitin. Uh, okay. Bandage. Heal yourself. Okay, let's keep walking. Oh, man. Okay, we got the chitin. The storm approaches. Seek shelter. I'm working on it right now. Working on it right now. We're going to head home. We're heading home. Maybe I should make a little shelter over here. Maybe I should do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do number two. Let's do a foundation. Two. Uh, building. We're going to put some walls on it. Pieces of roofing. It's just to seek shelter. 
I'm guessing it's serious about that. Right? Back to uh, maybe a door. We got shelter. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, door. That That's different. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, what does it say there? A storm is broken. Remain sheltered. Door. Whew. Oh, wow. It's really... It's shaking the place. Am I safe? Looks like I'm safe in here. There's something to keep in mind, huh? <laughs> okay. Always have a house kit with you. We could have made this one wide and just stood in there, but holy crap. That's something else. It gave us a bit of a warning. Can I put a workbench up? Oh, don't do that, radio. Don't break stuff. Are you crazy? I'm repairing. Hit R to repair with a hammer in your hand. I'm gonna dismantle that door. And we'll put a new door on there. Sounds like it's over. That was exciting. I'm gonna actually, yeah, I want it this way. Whew. Oh, what? Okay. Well, a port in the storm, ladies and gentlemen. It is now a, an official port in the storm. We can go in there if we need to. We're going to have to have little things like that all over the place, aren't we? Uh, mushrooms. Food. Food, food, food. And then we're going home and making the upgraded axe. And uh, what else? We got the mandible, so we can get the pick too, which means we can get the stone we need also. Ah, uh -huh, uh, indeed. And we know where the stone is. It's down by the shoreline, and there's just a few ants between us and it. So I'm thinking I'm going to chop these mushrooms down, take them home, cook them up. Probably have one or two because they look delicious. And then uh, we're going to go get uh, a few more things. Yeah, a few more things. We'll make some stuff. Get some more awesome things. Ah, uh, food. I noticed that this guy is rye. I just noticed that today, and this is where we're getting some seeds. So it looks to like me we'll be able to plant that maybe sometime and grow it closer to home. Maybe we could do that already, and I just don't know about it. Um, I need to figure out how to get home. Uh, I need to remember where I am. Uh, there, okay, there's the tree. Yeah, We need to go through the valley here and then uh, over the river and through the woods to uh, get a grandmother's house and all. I'll grab these here mushrooms too, though. Have I said it enough already? This place is amazing looking. <laughs> you really get a sense of being a super small, small, tiny thing. So tiny. I don't plan to stay in this location very long. I figure once we get through the first upgrade of stuff, we're going to want to move a little bit further in. That's why I'm kind of going over by where we just killed that bug and got the chitin from it. I believe that's exactly the direction I'd like to kind of travel at the moment. We could set something up a little bit more, you know, well, something nice. <laughs> something that doesn't look like garbage. Uh, let's go to repair first. And let's go ahead and repair everything we have at the moment. Okay, and then we're going to go back to craft, and let's go ahead and get that, um, the mandible pickaxe. Very nice, very nice. And then we wanted the, uh, upgraded, uh, pet whistle, no, wood arrow, torch. The crude hatchet. What do we need for the crude hatchet? Oh, uh, we got two of the four chitin we need. Oh, we need two more. We don't have enough of that. 
Well, that's okay. We can go out and get some more of that. That's fine. Insect fat. All right, beautiful. Uh, okay, I'm going to go get some stuff put away, and then we'll head back out the door. Okay, the grasshopper respawned back over here, so um, you could probably farm these guys right here. This is where he's at. This is his little spot. Picking up a little bit of resource along the way. I'm going to go hunt, hopefully, another one of those. Um, uh, we got the big spiders, the big ants to go through here. There we go. Uh, eat a block, which is a little awkward for me, but uh, I'm going to try to get used to it. Having more of one of those is probably not a good idea to fight. Uh, I'm, again, we're going to try to get the, uh, the stink bug, but we're going to have to go through... Looks like we're going to have to kind of repeat going through these guys each time we come over this way. Probably better to just um, put a place closer by to home, you know? Or actually make several... Oh, what, 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 three. Uh, I didn't have, uh, I don't think I have the arrows in the correct uh, slots here. Let's see. Um, inventory, I need to put my arrows. There we go. Took, must have taken the arrows out of my inventory. Uh, doesn't make sense to do that. <laughs> I had one. Oh, maybe that was from the previous stack? I don't know. Okay, I see another one of those bugs up here. Oh, dang it, Jim. Way high. Got him for 39. Oh, he's not moving. Got him for another 20. Another 20. Gotcha. Ooh, eight. Bandage. Well, food. That was bad. I got hit hard. That hurt real bad. Yeah, E is awkward to block. It's not like a fast motion either. You can see it takes him a second to bring that down too. Or it takes her. Oop, there's wasps over here. Saw a wasp. Did I get some more chitin? I got one more chitin. I need one more to make the, uh, the axe. Oh, there's one. There's one. That's what we're looking for. What's coming right now, too? Gotcha. Okay. Oh, not very good. I'm gonna have to work on that. Whew. Did I get the chitin I needed? We got three more chitin. Okay, good deal. Alright, that gets us the better axe. Mm hmm Now when we die, you do drop everything. So there's that. We'll have to work at trying to get maybe some... Uh, I wonder if you could stand up on top of a building that you put down and fight them. I bet they cause damage to buildings, though. Be my guess, right? When we get the better axe means we're going to upgrade to whatever we can... If we can chop something down that the axe, our current axe, won't chop down, that should give us a big, uh, you know, 
a boost. A boost. I'm heading back for home so we can make the other the new tool. Get the stone and stuff. It's working out just great. Ah, home sweet home. Alright, let's see. Can we make that hatchet now? Crude hatchet, what are we missing? We need one more chitin. Uh, chitin? <clears throat> nope. Where did I put the chitin? We had chitin. There it is. Alright, chitin. The crude hatchet has now been crafted. I would like you to replace the number six one up there. There we go. New hatchet, the crude hatchet. Very nice. Okay, so let's go over here. And we will drop you into... I've got three axes. Yeah, I've been, I, I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> I made it multiple times. Uh, let's go ahead and go to repair and get everything fixed up again. It's always good to do this, I think, to come in there and do that. Is there anything else I need here? Uh, let's... All right, I think we've got time to maybe run down below and see if we can get some of those uh, rocks picked up. I've got the axe with me. The new axe. And we got the new pickaxe. Or actually, the only pickaxe we've had so far. We're just a little tiny lady in the forest of the forest floor. Incredible. Oh, these ants are here every time. I got nothing for that one. Okay, down to the beach we go. I think we found some rocks out here, right? Yep. I can't resist it. You know, you just, you gotta pick it up. Uh, number one, let's see. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's go into first person. I kind of like seeing my character. So I don't mind being in third person a lot of the time. I probably should go into first person during the fighting. I think that would be probably the best thing to do. Is this a rock we can bust up? It is. Two, three, four, and five. Five hits. And how much stone do we have on us now? We have nine stone. Alright. Let's grab some more. Okay, we've got some rocks. What do we need rocks for? Uh, the bench, right? Um, oh, that's probably in the hammer, isn't it? If it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be in the hammer. Uh, stone bench. This is what we're looking for. Bottle cap and a screw. So we could do that. Okay, bottle cap and a screw. Uh, we've got those things. No. No. I think they're over here. Uh, yeah, we got a bottle cap and we've got a screw. All right, so. Hmm. Almost feel like I need another couple of spaces to build on here. You know? What I mean, Jelly Bean? It doesn't look like I've got enough room here. For what I want to do. Okay, let's cook up some more mushrooms, but let's go ahead and expand a little bit here. Um, yeah. Foundations. Okay, they are going this way. Who am I kidding? We could really just kind of have some fun right here with this thing, right? Did that snap to the middle of that? No, it did not. That looks like it's actually dangling and hanging right there. So that's not a go from me right there. Let's go ahead and get some uh, walls and stuff going. All right, so we got another workbench. It looks to me like I'm going to be moving things around a little bit more. Uh, I, I really want... Um, 
windows on my corners here because they're just amazing. Yeah, there we go. Couple of solid walls here, I think. You know what we can do, though? We can do that. And that. Give us a little, a little overhang on our roof, right? That looks pretty nice, I think. Uh, this is... I gotta be careful here. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is kind of on the edge, teetering on the edge of death. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, and... Just like that. There we go. That is very precarious. All right, we've got a little more room in our... In, oh, look at this. This is nice. Look at this. It's getting more spacious. We can add to it as we go, I guess. Yeah, we'll just keep messing around with it. That's the fun part of it, right? Exactly. Uh, and then once we get ourselves leveled up, we can decide what we're going to build. Because we will be building something in here. That is for dang sure. Um, I, I need the hammers again. Do we have the stuff we need for the uh, workbench? We do. All right, awesome. We've got this guy right here. This is our new stone bench. The stone cutter, huh? Oh, look at the tannery, covered bed, apothecary table, cauldron. <gasps> Ooh, wooden chest. Oh, that is very nice. So very nice. Oh, refined wood. Apothecary table. Okay. Oh, my God. There's all kinds of amazing things coming up. Um, let's see. Let's grab this back. I'm going to get that hammer out of my hand so I don't have it in, in my hand. Uh, nope. I don't want to do that. I wanted to pick you up. Uh -huh, and, and pick you up. Yeah. Okay. So let me get over my initial excitement here of having this new bench here. Okay. And then I'll come back and we will resume and, um, you know, see what we can do. But our, our place is getting a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger now. Be right back. We've got another one of those storms coming in. I'm just sitting in here taking a look at the uh, different stuff that's going to be coming available. It looks like flint is what we're going into next. Seed oil refined from seeds. This oil could be used to refine other resources, a stone hammer, stone brick. Uh, shape stone, uh, stackable and perfect for robust building. I see in a stone spear, uh, everything requires refined wood. So I'm curious about the refined wood. You got to hunt these guys every single time you come through here. Oh, Grasshopper. Oh, Grasshopper got involved in this fight. I didn't want him to do that. Sorry, Grasshopper. Didn't mean for that to happen to you. Alright, well, that wounded me. Bandage action there. Okay, health is coming up. All right. We've got this guy here, which we've chopped down, and we get uh, fiber out of him. But there is... We just did this one. A mauve plant, right? It's not giving me what I want, though. Oh, we got to be... Uh... A little more temperamental than the mushrooms are. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit of that, but there was also another tree up here. I feel like there was another tree up here that I could get to. Where did we see those other trees at? I think it might have been a different direction. We have found some resources out here, some new ones. Okay, so on this episode, we were supposed to go try to track down that guy. And we didn't quite get to that because I did a little extending of the building. Uh, did some more figuring stuff out. We got some upgrades done. Some new benches put down. 
The house is a little bit bigger. The outpost at the moment. The other, the new, the next thing we need is flint and fine wood. Flint and fine wood. This guy can climb like crazy, where the ants can't seem to do that. <laughs> it's all right. That's why I make lots of bandages. It looks like the storm is over. Oh my, look at this place over here. Okay, there's our center area. There's the house. We're on the other side of the river from the house. Uh, there's a dragonfly. I wonder what the dragonfly offers and does it cause me any harm? Where'd it go? I picked up some feathers, some wings. What did I pick up there? Uh, garlic leaf? No, I picked up insect wings. Nice. All right, we got some bug wings. I bet that's going to help us with the old flying lessons, huh? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, one more hit. Almost got me. Mm. I've got to learn how to use that block button better. That's for dang sure. I wonder if I'd be safe down here along this edge. I wonder if I could build a house right down here. You know, a little place right down here with the water going by, the Burblin Brook. Got all this room. We're on the ground. That's the, you know, that's a major down tick for sure. But I am looking at areas like this that would be a possibility for us. I mean, it's just, there's a beautiful view no matter which way you look. It's just gorgeous around here. That's for dang sure. It is just amazing. I'm not sure what I want to do there with that yet. So, yeah, I think this is going to be one of those uh, longer series on the channel for sure. Um, I think it's amazing so far. I've spent a day now, all these episodes, the first three... We're all recorded on Thursday, shortly after the game came out. Got started playing and recording. And I don't know if I've made it too far yet, but it's been a good time getting as far as I've gotten so far. I can tell you that much. And it's nice having to go out and find these new resources and figure out where they are. So I'll be looking for the flint and stuff with you guys as well. Or I may, you know... This is one of those games where I can come in and do some grind on my own at night, too, which is great. I love that part of it uh, very much. So uh, I'll be doing some of that as well, uh, just to, you know, have plenty of resources built up. So we've got some fun stuff to play with. Uh, and then I'll keep my eyes open for an area where we may want to, you know, settle a little bit nicer. Make a better place and just, you know, be all put together right. That'd be kind of cool, I think. But yeah, flint. Flint is what we need. I need to find flint. I think we should go on that adventure and see if we can't find the guy up there on our map. Did I did I mark him as something we're supposed to go do? I don't. You know what? I think I backed out and came back in. Uh, what are you doing, ladybug? I, I did. Yeah. Um, there we go. We need to turn that on. We're going to go do that in the next episode and do a little bit of exploring that way because I think it might be profitable for us. It's going to take us through some of those things I think that needs to be done to get started. Maybe uh, we could wind up dying out there too. Welcome back. Well, after going out and searching for refined wood, what I uh, come to notice is that it's right in here. Refined wood. So we need seed oil, and then we can make the refined wood with the wood. So cutting down that grass that we ran across, the rye is probably, was it the rye? Yeah, the rye was giving us the seeds. We have six seeds here. So we can make a little bit of that. 
seed oil. Okay, we've got six of those. Refined wood. Okay, I need a little bit of wood in my inventory as well. Let's uh, go over here. And refined wood. Why, wow, you get one per. Okay, you get one. All right, that takes care of that. And then what else are we looking for? We're... Let's see. What do we have in our... We need our hammer. There we go. Yeah, after all that work and trying to find that, I finally just uh, read that thing and it says, oh, there we go. <laughs> I read the instructions. I read the table better is what I did. Uh, refined wood, that requires bark as well. The tannery is fiber flint and refined wood. It looks like the next thing I could possibly make is the cauldron for better recipes, it looks like. Garlic leaf to make the covered bed. The sheltered bed features a simple cover for a slightly more comfortable place to sleep. Hmm. Okay. And the box, garlic leaf and refined wood. So if we took a piece of garlic leaf, I could actually make one of those. So I'm going to have to go back over there and fight those soldier ants and chop down all that ryegrass. And in the, beam, in the process of that, I'll be, uh, you know, fighting the, the beetles and stuff as well. Um... I was going to do the, the, the bench, right? The box. I've got that. I need just a little bit of garlic leaf, which we found over there as well. So let's see what one of these other boxes look like. Oh, look at you. You're pretty, aren't you? You got a bunch of room in you, don't you? You sure do. Yeah, that's a bunch of space in there. I'd say that's the front, maybe? Not quite sure if that's the front or not. I'm going to put it... Uh, where am I going to put this dang box radio? Put it right here for now. Uh, quite a bit more space in there also, which is fantastic. So we'll have to... It looks like that's the front of the chest then. The two knobs, the two knobs right there are the front. All right. Well, we've got a new chest. I just wanted to bring you back and make sure you see that I did find that so you're not screaming at me. But the seed oil, refined wood. I took a little time just to kind of go through here and look. It looks like the next available weapon, a stone spear would not be bad. We do have some refined wood. We could make that spear and see how that works. We actually can make that spear. Uh, I'm going to go get more of that resources. And the next episode when we come back, we'll do, we'll do some of this and see what we can do. Get some of these things made and try them out and see if they're any good. Uh, just for some fun, right? We really need to locate that flint. All right, there's all kinds of things to find in the game and to learn in the game. That's just the beauty of it. I hope you guys enjoyed it again. Hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. A little bit of mushroom. Ah, uh, there we go.